Now, for more discussion, we're joined live via Skype by Wei Nanzhi, a research fellow with the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences. Um, uh, Ma'am, welcome to China 24. As we just heard, 2020 saw a drop in the number of newborn babies in China, uh, the fourth year in a row. Uh, what do you think of this? I mean, what do you think are the reasons behind the fall? Uh, yes, such a dramatic decline means that China's society appears to be aging more quickly than expected. I think that is likely to fall further in coming years. Why there are so many babies in 2016 and 2017? Because the generations of those born in late uh, 1970s and the uh, early 1980s are willing to give birth to more kids. But as to those born in late 1980s and in 1990s, that means those generations now are uh, giving birth to children, it is a totally another story because the decades of one child policy have changed people's conception of fertility and the number of marriages in China has declined while the divorce rate in China is relatively high. So many couples are also waiting to marry and start families later on. I think such a reasons behind it. Thank you. Right. Uh, it is concerning, uh, Dr. Wei. Um, I mean, I'm trying to do more my, my fair share here, but uh, I hope my fellow people will do the same. But after years of, you know, a one child policy to address high popu population growth, uh, the government uh, has, of course, as we know, uh, encouraging parents to have more babies. Uh, but as you said, there are many social and economic concerns there. Many parents feel that a second child, uh, you know, having a second child isn't practical. Uh, you know, uh, there's a lack of social safety net, uh, high tuitions, it's expensive to hire a nanny or maybe two nannies. Uh, what more can the government do there? Yes, just uh, as you have said that the high education, the housing costs are reasons to such a dramatic decline in the number of new balls in China. I think, first of all, the government should change its idea and its policy towards the birth control that soon. And also, since in recent years, so many couples are reluctant to have children due to the rising cost of health care, education, housing, nursing, house, and so on. So I think uh, not only the government should change the birth control policy, but also should carry out policies to encourage people to go to give birth to more kids concerning the taxation, housing, nursing, uh, houses, education, uh, and so on. It should have a lot of policy to encourage them, not only so say, oh, you can, but you should say, we will help you and you can. Thank you. Yeah, there should be more incentives uh, indeed uh, over there. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Wen Nanjir from Chinese Academy of Social Sciences.